Hello everyone! Uh, in previous videos I showed you how to create a simple Spring Boot Java application using Postgres SQL. And today I'm gonna show you how to deploy this application to a free Java server. And this Java server is Heroku app. Um, last time uh, I, I checked, I created a video to deploy a simple uh, Java application to Heroku app, but it was a long time ago and I decided to update uh, this uh, video tutorial and because you, you know using Spring Boot it became more easier, much more easier to deploy your Java application to Heroku. And let me create uh, a new... I, I don't want to create a new uh, Spring Boot application, I just use this Spring Crude I'll put you a link in this video description. Let me clone it to my local computer. Project from version control. Just put a link to my Spring Root project. Yes. Let me open in this window. I don't need no more windows today. And that's it. Here I have a simple Spring Root project, uh, which I created in the previous videos. It's just a controller, repository service, and that's it. As you, you can see in application properties, only properties to Spring data source. And let me create a new application in Heroku app. Let me go to Heroku Cloud Application Platform and login. Okay. And next thing you're gonna do is just create a new application. Let's give it a simple name like Spring Example 1, 2, 3. Okay. And I select a region Europe because I'm from Europe a region and it's it would be a much lower pink to my application from my location. But you can select a, a suitable region, region for you. I create into the app and that's it. I need to add a database to this application. I go to resources and click find more add-ons. Uh, Heroku gives you PostgreSQL for free and that's why I selected PostgreSQL. Install Postgres. As you can see, uh, add-on plan is Hobby Dev free. And I need to connect this Postgres database to the application. Spring example one two three and provision add-on. Click and that's it. I attached my Postgres uh, database to my uh, application. Okay, let me go to. Postgres, my new Postgres database. And you need to select settings and view credentials. And here we have our credentials to the Postgres uh, database. I'm gonna use uh, IntelliJ uh, database uh, client, but you can use any client you want. And actually, you you can don't use a client if you want. It's it's not necessary for uh, for building Spring Boot application, you know. But I'm just gonna show you that it works fine. Let me select Postgres data source, and I just need to and uh, fill those fields with my credentials. Let me select host, copy paste it to the client. 
database find the database field user and the last one is password password and port is def default port for postgres i am not going to change it password and test connection and as you can see it connected successfully now i can open my console and execute some initial SQL scripts. It's just um, creating user table. Let me copy paste it to my console and execute. Execute. And now I see that my uh, script executed successfully. And uh, the last thing I need is just to connect. Uh, sorry, I closed it connect my um, paste my credentials from uh, postgres to my application properties file okay let me just copy paste it again but this time in my uh, application properties file let me just copy paste and let's see what happens actually we would be able to uh, run our application locally and i suggest you to run it locally before you deploy it to postgres to make sure it works correct username and the last thing is password Okay, now let's try to run it. It takes some time for building. Okay, it looks like application started with no errors. Let's just go to browser and open our index HTML page HTTP localhost 8080 and that's it uh, now we have our index uh, HTML page which we created in static resources it's just a simple crude uh, HTML page that allows you to make to make requests to server I can demonstrate to you that it works for example username user create some test user just refresh the page and here we have our user username another user login and user email creating the user and that's it it works fine and now our users are stored in our heroku database and uh, that's all configurations for Spring Boot. Now you can deploy it to Heroku. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it using Heroku Cli instrument. In previous video, I showed, showed you how to deploy Java application, just connecting it to the GitHub. But now, just to make it different for you and show you that there are a lot of uh, possibilities to deploy a Spring Boot application to free web server. Okay, and select the Deploy tab. And in Heroku you have just um, description how to deploy your application. Just select your deployment method. I, As I said, I use uh, Heroku Git, but you can just connect to GitHub or use container registry okay i use heroku Cli. Uh, first of all you need to install the heroku Cli. i have already installed it but there there is a um, very very informative instruction how to install it on every os you you want 
it's on, it, it's on Mac OS, on Windows, on Ubuntu. I'm on Ubuntu and I install it using those instructions very easy. Okay, and now I need just um, execute those steps to deploy my application. And first step is Heroku login. Let me just, uh, it, uh, it should be executed, all the steps should be executed in your application folder. Let me close all. And now I'm gonna open the terminal and enter Heroku login. It will ask you to enter your credentials. Okay, looks good. And next step is create a new Git repository. Actually, I've downloaded it from Git already and I don't need to create a Git repository. Just I need just to uh, add remote Heroku. Okay, but if you created project from scratch and don't have a Git repository, just execute uh, those two steps uh, to init your git repository. I just copy paste it. And that's it. Next step, I'm gonna commit and push to Heroku uh, master. I'll use idea, uh, idea desktop uh, instrument init commit just to uh, change your application properties file commit yeah i committed it and i'm gonna push to heroku master just copy paste it and push and that's it as you can see now heroku detects that it's your java application it's installing uh, JDK 1.8, but you can configure for any SDK you want, SDK you want. Okay. Now it downloads your dependencies from POM XML. Let me just scroll to the bottom. And here we have build success. And now Heroku compressing your file, compressing your project and deploying it to 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 the cloud. Actually, that's it uh, that you need to do. And here we have our release and we have our project deployed to Heroku and it's our project's URL. You can just click it and you can see that there is our project deployed to Heroku. Let me just show you that it works as well. Create a new user, create new email. Boom, and that's it. You have a user. And that's actually all what I wanted to show you today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned.